A rich man had three daughters. One day a cleaner was cleaning their house and the man hid behind the door. The first daughter came and threw her coffee, spilling it all over the floor. The cleaner looked at her with sadness and started cleaning. The man saw this but kept hiding behind the door. Then the second daughter came and reached into her purse, only to pull out trash and throw it on the floor. The cleaner looked at her with sadness and again started cleaning. Then the third daughter came and said, You work hard all day. Come to eat with me. They went to eat, and after some time the man called his daughters and gave each one of them a gift. The first daughter opened the gift and saw that it was the coffee she spilled. The second daughter opened her gift and saw that it was the trash she threw on the floor. The third daughter opened her gift and saw that it was full of cash, and there was a note inside. The note read, Dear Daughter, all of my expensive cars and houses are now yours. Stay away from these six types of people. The last one is the most dangerous, the first. Stay away from those who have achieved nothing in life themselves, but always blame others for their problems. Second, stay away from fools and addicted people who are always intoxicated. Third, stay away from unhappy and problematic people because they will not find peace on their own and you will not be allowed to live in peace either. Fourth, stay away from your enemies because they will do anything to lead you astray. Fifth, stay away from those who speak behind your back. Sixth, narcissist. This person always wants to be the center of attention. He knows everything about everything. He is the best in any business and does not hesitate to remind you about it every minute. Even if you are an intelligent and successful person yourself, you will always play a supporting role next to him. Never commit these five foolish acts. Never tell anyone about your dreams. Remember, a fish with a closed mouth avoids the hook. Never get too involved in other people's problems. Don't obsess as if they were your own. You will forget about yourself. Never become too close to anyone. And don't get too attached to someone. You can be used. Never ask someone for a loan. Don't lend money either. Many friendships break because of debts. And you yourself can become poor because of your debts. Never spend more than you earn, you will become poor. If you don't follow our channel, you probably won't see us again. If you are subscribed, congratulations, you are mentally growing every day. Eight phrases you need to hear at least once in your life. One, people are not against you, they are for themselves. Two, climb mountains not for the world to see you, but for you to see the world. Three, you learn more from failures than from success. Don't let them stop you, failures build character. 4. The biggest risk is spending your life on something you don't want, relying on circumstances. 5. Go where you are valued, not where you are tolerated. 6. The person you spend the most time with in your life is yourself. Try to make yourself as interesting as possible. 7. Everyone you meet has fears, something they love and something they have lost. 8. Comfort is the enemy of achievement. Six tips from an 80-year-old sage to young people. First, choose your life partner carefully. They will provide 90% of your happiness or suffering. Second, do not deprive people of hope. What if they have nothing else left? Third, 80% of success in any job is based on your ability to communicate with people. Fourth, do not miss the opportunity to confess your love. Three things never come back. Time, words, opportunity. So don't waste time. Choose your words wisely. Don't miss the chance. Fifth, think before you speak. Words are the key. By using them correctly, you can open any soul and close any mouth. And finally, do not expect fairness from life. Subscribe to not lose us. Five facts that are hard to accept, but you must do it. Hide your sadness because no one cares. Never get too attached to anyone. Remember, even your own shadow leaves when it gets dark. Don't be too kind, forgiving, and responsive. Ungrateful people will use you. If there is no loyalty, forget about that love. And finally, the fifth. If you want to grow, sit at big tables, spend time with smarter people. If you don't follow us, you may never see us again. But if you're subscribed, congratulations, you're mentally growing every day. Borrow money to an enemy, and you will gain a friend. Borrow money to a friend, and you will lose them. Do you know a person who has been alone for a long time? He is not lonely. He doesn't find it difficult to eat alone.
He entertains himself and is always busy. He doesn't settle for just anyone to feel needed. He knows his worth. He is strong. But this strength came through many trials. It is there that he found his strength. He doesn't want anyone to go through what he had to, but at the same time he knows he wouldn't be the person he is now without those trials. That's why he knows his worth. Many men could have become victims of the battles he had to fight, but not him. He endured. This person has spent years shaping himself. No one will tell him who he is or how to live. He knows who he is and where he is going. Anyone who doubts him will be proven wrong. Anyone who stands in his way will be pushed aside. And even though he has achieved everything on his own, he is always looking for someone who could be a valuable addition to his life, someone who matches his energy and builds with him. The problem is that finding such a person today is much harder than saying it. If you want a man to grow with you, there's no need to put on a proud face in front of him. Be gentle, tender, and vulnerable, and he will become strong. That's it. That's how it should be. Strong people are not liked. They are inconvenient. They cannot be controlled. They hear themselves and know what they deserve, and they are not willing to give it up. Inside them, there are anchors that they hold firmly onto their desire to live without dirt and to be happy, against all odds. Inside them, there are strong roots that cannot be uprooted or destroyed. Just like their iron principles, sense of self-worth, morals, and belief in themselves cannot be destroyed. The first mistake people make when choosing a partner is selecting based on commonality of what they currently have or based on shared history. We don't get into a taxi with someone who was waiting with you at the bus stop or someone you went to school with. We get into a taxi with someone who is going in the same direction. We should unite based on our goals. It is not by chance that Reich said the phrase, love is not when you look at each other. Love is when you look in the same direction. It is essential to understand where this person is going, what their life strategy is. Strategy is the adequate understanding of where you are, understanding where and understanding how. It is crucial to align this where and how. There will be problems and conflicts if you are going in different directions, if you have different values and different goals. The Golden Rule of Life Do not worry about things you cannot change. Accept the situation as it is. After all, we do not try to change the weather. We simply dress according to it. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. We choose our joys and sorrows long before we experience them. If you are effectively fulfilling your mission, then you feel in the flow, and the higher power gives you a sense of happiness. Because you cannot artificially experience the feeling of happiness. It comes on its own. That's why my formula is this. Find your life mission. A happy person's body is in motion, their mind is at peace, and their soul is clear as a mountain lake. Give a man a fish, and you will feed him for one time. Teach him to fish, and he will feed himself for a lifetime. As soon as you do this, you will immediately notice how the quality of your life has improved. In addition to health and saving money, you will appear independent in the eyes of other people. Because any bad habit is an addiction, and addiction is a weakness. Take this step, and you will see everything for yourself. A wise mother-in-law will be able to fan a little spark into a flame in her son's fading family hearth, while a foolish one can extinguish even a fire of love. Defeat your enemy with your dignity. This is the best victory. Do not speak if it does not improve the silence. Love that is not renewed daily turns into a habit, which in turn turns into slavery. Do not speak ill of yourself even in jest. Your mind does not know the difference. Words are energy. Change what you say about yourself and you can change your life. If you want to achieve success, avoid six vices, drowsiness, laziness, fear, anger, idleness, and indecision. Do not spread word about your far-reaching plans. Stay silent until the plan is implemented. Any of our ideas are not perfect. They have quite a lot of weak spots that can easily be hit and destroyed. Don't let a small dispute destroy a big friendship. When you live in harmony with yourself, you can get along with others. Don't talk about the gossip you heard somewhere from someone. You can dirty your shoes on the street, but you can also dirty your consciousness. And the person who comes home and starts talking about all the stupid things he heard today is no different from the person who came home and did not take off his shoes. Don't bring dirt into the house.
He who knows himself is not afraid of what they say about him. If you want to get what you've never had, become who you've never been. Always use soft words and strong arguments. A husband and wife should be like hands and eyes. When the hand hurts, the eyes cry, and when the eyes cry, the hands wipe away tears. The pen is mightier than the sword. No illusions, no disappointments. Remember gratitude as long as you do an offense. A person who has felt the wind of change should build not a shield from the wind, but a windmill. The one who steps softly will go far on his way. The one who is closer to the fire will burn first. Accept life's injustice. We are all born different in hair color, weight, height, and social status. But it doesn't matter, because everyone has a chance to succeed. It is important to understand what you are doing and clearly know the purpose of these actions. Acknowledge your mistakes. There is no defeat in recognizing your own delusion. The recognition itself is already a victory. Solve any problem immediately. Because when you leave it for later, problems, like a snowball, multiply and accumulate, gradually knocking you off track. After a long illness, you become a good doctor yourself. Misfortune enters the door that was open to it.